It's the 27th of May, in arguably the most unusual time of the 21st century, a day set aside in Nigeria to celebrate the Nigerian child. And behind me is the Agege Stadium in Lagos State, where children would have been marching, smiling, just to celebrate this special day. I got this feeling inside my bones. COVID-19 may have had its impact on the Children's Day celebration. We visit some homes to see how they spend the day. Ten-year-old Joshua Agbola is not deterred by the situation. He spends his time building apps that suit the times. I have produced a few games. I produce games like Josh Copter, Songulu, COVID Dodge, Bwari COVID Dodge. And those apps are going to be on the Play Store in the week or two. I've had opened their courses for free on EDX this quarantine period. So I took one of the courses called CS50 Game Development. At the Right Hands Innovation Center, some young developers have also taken the initiative to build a robotic technological solution they believe will be useful this period. We developed a solution to minimize the human contact with coronavirus. So we simulated a supermarket and we coded a robot to help with the family needs to go to the supermarket to get groceries for the family in order to minimize the human contact with. They also have messages for their peers. Happy Children's Day. Stay safe. Say, so use this free time that you have to do something productive obey all the necessary rules to avoid coronavirus. According to UNICEF, more than 1.5 billion children have had their education disrupted due to the widespread of school closures, but that has definitely not stopped some of them from doing great things. Victor Mathias, Channels Television News.